All right, YouTube. Been a little while since I um, made you guys a video about anything. Had a pretty hectic few months, and uh, still having a pretty hectic time, but I feel stronger about it. But anyways, what we have here today is my 2009 Subaru Forester. <clears throat> and a problem that happens with these is they have a uh, electronic throttle body. Uh, no more actual steel cable from the gas pedal to the to the throttle it's all electronic drive by wire and sometimes under certain conditions the computer will forget the home position of the throttle body and it's it's off by a little bit and you'll notice this um, when coming to a red light it'll the rpms will drop down and you think it's going to stall out and then it'll come back up. Um, it's a lot more pronounced whenever you have the AC running. Um, when the compressor kicks in and out, it kicks out the RPMs that go up. And when it kicks back in, it'll it'll drop down. And it won't ever find that happy middle spot. So I did research online. And uh, this procedure has worked for me multiple times. Um, in the comments... On the person who posted this information, there's a lot of people saying, oh, I call BS, you shouldn't have to do that, and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, I'm just here to say that I've done it this way, and it's worked fine for me. Um, so what caused this was I was cleaning my car and uh, had the radio on for far too long, killed the battery, and um, went and jumped it off and took off and drove, and it forgot where the home position was so this is how you reset it now you can do it however you like I just do it this way what you gotta do is you gotta unhook your battery for at least 20 minutes what I did was I just unhooked my battery and uh, I went and took a nap um, you can mess with this take it off here I just pull my main fuse out it's got these two little nuts I just pull the fuse out and uh, and let her sit 20 minutes at least um, I just went and took a nap, so then that's all you gotta do. Hook it back up. Now this is a two-part procedure, um, so what we gotta do at first is um, all right. so what you wanna do is you wanna make sure before you start this thing and before you put your keys in, make sure everything's off, that nothing. Extras, you don't want to create any extra load on the engine than what it would normally have just sitting and idling with no headlights on, no AC, you know, don't touch the gas pedal. Now, so, all right, first thing you do, you stick your key in ignition and you turn the key on, but don't start it. You just turn it on and let it sit for 15 seconds. Don't touch the gas pedal. Don't touch anything. Just turn it on and let it sit. All right, that was 15 seconds. <laughs> All we do is we sit, just let it sit for 20 minutes running like this. It's going to go through a relearn procedure and um, RPM's up a little bit right now because it's cold. Remember, don't even touch your steering wheel because that's going to create extra load on the engine. What we got to let it do is just sit here and figure out where the sweet spot is. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this. Um, Obviously, you don't want to sit here for 20 minutes staring at a tachometer. Um, but you can see, actually, it's actually come down a little bit already. Because it's still a little bit warm. Uh, I did just drive about two hours before I parked it. So it's still warm. But you can see it's, it's slowly dropping down. So I'm going to pause this and come back in 20 minutes and we'll check it out. All right, we're back after 20 minutes. Let's do part two now. Okay. Yep, that's where she should be idling at. That's perfect. 
Alright, so what we do, shut her off. I really like to let, just let it sit for a couple of seconds. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to put the key back in, let it sit for 15 seconds, and then we're going to start it again. So let's key on. Not going to touch anything. Now the second part is going to run for 10 minutes. All right, 15 seconds. <laughs> All right, still not touching anything. Don't touch the gas pedal. Don't bump the steering wheel. We're gonna give her 10 more minutes. So we'll come back and do a test drive. And we'll know if it's fixed, because if I pull up to the stop light, or I mean the stop sign, and it doesn't uh, act like it wants to stall out, then that means we've successfully relearned the uh, home position for the uh, throttle, throttle pedal. All right, check back in 10 more minutes. All right, guys, we're back after the 10 minutes has passed, and uh, that should be it. So my uh, computer should have relearned where to idle and everything like that. Let's kick the AC on and see if it wants to die out. All right, that was the first load applied to the engine. And it leveled out pretty good. Got the AC rock and rolling. Let's go for a short little test drive here. Now my problem was I'd pull up to a stop sign and they would want to die. So uh, let's see if it does that anymore. Shutting, it'll either be working or it'll make me a liar. But I have done this before with uh, good results. So let's uh, take a little spin around the block and see what we come up with. So oh, rocking and rolling, rocking and rolling. Take a right here. Oh, that was nice. Stop nice. Nope, no stall. And also the other thing it was doing. Uh, when you would go to take off, there'd be a slight, real quick hesitation. Um, that's gone as well. So, uh, seems like I believe this is like the third time I've done this since I've owned the car in three years. And, um, seems to be. Sorry, I'm trying to pay attention to driving. That's more important than, than recording, but. Okay. But yeah, this seems to uh, seems to have worked for me. So I figured I'd share it with you guys. Um, like I said, um, you know, there's mixed feelings about it. Some people say you don't need to go through all this; that you can just unhook the battery for 30 seconds and uh, push the brake pedal, and that'll um, um, you know that's sufficient to drain the memory to clear it and. Um, you know, I haven't tried it. You might try it. Um, letting it sit for 30 seconds is definitely quicker than 20 minutes, but the one thing I do know is this is the third time in a row this has worked for me. And the only time I've had to do it is when I messed up and let my battery die. See, now that, that was a really nice stop right there. It, it really completely just didn't di dip down at all, so... It's, uh, it also relearns as you drive, you know, so now you got to remember it's got, 
in the computer. Um, I remember I checked it with my uh, uncle's Snap-on Scan tool. It's got four different user profiles. So this computer actually store can store four different types of driving habits. So, you know, we just had to let it sit here and learn. And uh, so it relearned idle. There's a good, that's a complete stop. Idle didn't drop down too low at all. So it seems to be fixed. But um, so now that we relearned the idle, now we have to, uh, you have to drive it a little bit and let it um, relearn your driving habits. So I hope this has helped. If your um, Subaru is having issues with uh, wanting to die out at stoplights, or whatever whenever you come to a stop oh man it's so much better i've been dealing with this for a couple of days i haven't had time to do it and it's been really aggravating when i come to a stop sign but anyways um i would try this first i've seen other posts about you know you got to pull your uh, intake open and, and clean your throttle plate and all this and that which you know is possible but i tried that too and when i opened mine up i took the uh hose off Mine was clean, um, and I've got 124,000 miles, and mine was nice and clean, so that, that wasn't an issue for me. Um, and then there was another one I, I post I saw about um, uh, possibly, I think it was EGR port blocked up with carbon, which um, you got to like, they want you to take a clothes hanger and jam in there and clean it all out, which is possible. Um, you know, um, but for me, this is what I tried. The symptoms seemed to match the best. Um, it had hesitation, taking off, and wanting to die, and um, when coming to a stop. And uh, I bet you just caught it. You see right there how it did it just drop down. That's what it would do at stoplights. Um, but it's it's relearning. It's doing better. So, all right. Hope this helps you guys.